Hi, my name is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you for a walkthrough on board Bundalong, a 2019 Sunreef 80. I can't think of a more appropriate name for a sailing catamaran than Bundalong. It's an Aboriginal word that means joined together, which is a very appropriate name for a sailing catamaran. When you're out on the water on a catamaran, it's all about creating those experiences with your family and friends. And with almost 3,700 square feet of living space, this is the perfect platform for that. Just to put that square footage into perspective, she has almost 500 square feet more living space than her nearest competitor. Before we start touring around the boat, I just want to talk about the salon for a moment. I've been on hundreds of catamarans in my career, and I've never seen a salon like this. This is quite possibly the nicest salon that I've ever spent time in. She's a five cabin, five head layout, plus crew quarters, making her a great boat, not just for larger families, but also for putting into charter use. Another thing that I love about Bundalong is how well equipped she is. And a great example of that is the owner went with lithium batteries while fitting out the boat. At the end of the day, this is a sailing yacht and her custom made North 3DI sails really help move her through the water. One of my good friends is a captain of the 80 sail that displayed at the Miami Boat Show. And when I chatted with him about the passage from Miami down to the Virgin Islands, he said the boat handled beautifully in all conditions. You may remember the first summary video I did was actually on board an 80 sail when she debuted in 2018 at the Cannes Yachting Festival. The boat was very well received, winning awards in both Asia, Europe, and North America. And that's for good reason, which I'm about to show you. With almost 600 square feet, this flybridge is absolutely massive. We're gonna first talk about the guest spaces on the flybridge and then move to the operational side of the flybridge. All the way aft, we have a set of day beds that run the full beam of the flybridge. For to that, we have a nice L-shaped settee and table, which is perfect for alfresco dining for up to eight people. Just for its center line of the teak table, we've got the Flybridge Bar, which is the perfect place to hang out while underway or at anchor. On the forward side of the bar, we've got a sink, an ice maker, refrigerator, as well as plenty of storage. This boat's very easy to handle with a small crew due to her outboard helms, powered winches, hydraulic furling boom, and then head sails on roller furlers. This boat's equipped with a BNG electronics package. So we have radar, AIS, VHF radio, autopilot, and chart plotter. Below that, we've got our twin bow thrusters, our throttles for the motor, our two vessel monitors, and then controls for the BNG electronics. Then over on the port side, we have the searchlight, the controller for the windlass, the horn signals, the traveler control, and an assortment of other controls. And having the yacht controller makes it an even easier boat for the captain to handle in close quarters. She's equipped with a carbon fiber mast, roller furling boom, and a custom set of North 3DI sails, which include a square top mainsail, a Genoa, and a Code Zero. Let's go ahead and make our way from the flybridge down to the aft cockpit. What makes this area different than the flybridge is how this space is traditionally used. This is an area where you hang out when you're at anchor. It's where you get the tender ready to go snorkeling or diving from. It's a perfect vantage point to watch everything that's happening in the water around the boat. The hardtop extends well aft over the cockpit, giving you not only great protection from the sun, but with her drop down enclosure protection from the rain as well. That's what makes this the perfect place to have a cup of coffee in the morning or to hang out at anchor in the evening. Center line in the cockpit, we've got a beautiful teak table for al fresco dining for six. The aft bench seat can be either used forward facing or aft facing if you want to watch what's happening behind the boat. Port side, we have the cockpit wet bar, which has a sink, ice maker, refrigerator, as well as plenty of storage. Across from that, we have a beautiful day bed with ratcheting backs to allow you to either lay down or sit up. Starboard aft in the coach roof, you'll notice the rain shower, a very unique feature only found on Sunreef yachts. Underfoot, we have four large lazarettes, giving you plenty of storage that's easily accessed. Another pair of hatches, both the port and starboard, give us access to the mechanical spaces on board the boat. 
In each of the mechanical spaces, we'll find the 260 horsepower John Deere motors. On the port side, we have the air conditioning chiller units, as well as one of the two water makers on board. On the starboard side, we've got the Onan generator and the second sea recovery water maker. Just after the mechanical spaces, we have the two large inviting sugar scoops. On the port side, we've got the hydraulic passerelle. We've also got connections for shore power cables, both to port and starboard, as well as a dive ladder that can be deployed either to port or starboard. Between the two sugar scoops, we've got the oversized hydraulic platform, which is the perfect place to store your Williams 505 diesel jet tender. It's also a great place to set up a beach club when the tender is not on board the boat. Before we check out the interior, I want to show you guys one more exterior space on the boat, the foredeck. Making our way forward, there's a few things worth pointing out. First thing you'll notice is the windows for the salon go from the deck all the way to the top of the coach roof, which is something you'll really appreciate when we get into the salon. The foredeck serves two very distinct purposes. We've got the guest spaces as well as the operational spaces. Centerline in front of the coach roof, we've got an L-shaped settee to starboard with a cocktail table. And then over on the port side, we've got a nice large day bed. There's also storage integrated into the floor of the Ford cockpit. Just forward of the cockpit, we have five large deck lockers, giving you more than enough storage to bring all of the water toys you could ever want on board. The deck hatch center line gives you easy access to the anchor windlass on board the boat. As if there wasn't already enough storage on the boat, both to port and starboard, we've got very large four peaks that it can be fitted out as crew quarters or used for even more storage. We've also got a split trampoline arrangement up front, giving you even more space to lounge out on board the boat. All the way forward on the port and starboard bow, we have the dolphin chaser seats, which are the perfect place to sit while under sail and really get the sensation of water moving under the boat. This boat is equipped with the optional factory bow sprit with an electric furler and a North 3DI code zero. Just after that, we have the electric furler for the North Genoa. Making our way to the interior space, it's a zero threshold entry, just like all the other sunroofs in the New Beginning range. The vibe completely changes once you make your way into the interior. I feel like I'm in an upscale Hampton style beach home right now. First, you'll notice the near floor to ceiling windows, which lets in a lot of natural light to the space. The use of light tones throughout the boat, contrasted by nautical themed blues, makes it feel less like a yacht and more like an inviting beach home. A great place to point this out on the port side where we have the interior dining table with room for 10. All the seating is arranged around this beautiful custom oak table with inlaid stainless steel, a level of detail not found in most catamarans. If you're looking for a little bit more casual place to hang out after dinner, grab your cocktail and move over to the L-shaped settee on the starboard side of the salon. One feature I've never seen on another catamaran are these coffered ceilings with the beadboard, giving it a true beach house vibe, and the ambient lighting, which creates a very warm, inviting atmosphere, leaving no dark corners. As an amateur chef and foodie, one of my favorite features on larger motor yachts is the concept of a country kitchen. Country kitchen is a kitchen that not only has your prep space, your cook space, but also a sitting area for your guests watching you prepare their meal. The galley onboard bundalong is the closest I've ever seen to a country kitchen in a catamaran. With the centerline island and two bar stools, it really brings you into the whole culinary experience. At first glance, all the countertops look like an intricate Carrera marble, which is a bit deceptive because it's actually a composite Corian countertop. So the owner of this boat upgraded the appliance package to the Miele appliances. So we've got the microwave here. Centerline, we've got the induction cooktop. Below that, we have the convection oven. Then across from that, we have the dishwasher. Just starboard of the dishwasher, we have what I call the day refrigerator. There is a ton of cold storage on this boat down in the crew pantry, which is next to the cabin. Let's go ahead and go a little out of order and check out the crew space and pantry. A couple of steps down to the landing brings us right into the crew pantry. In the crew pantry, we have a Miele washer with a separate dryer, two full-size freezers, and three full-size refrigerators. Turning aft from there, we've got the crew cabin, which has a queen size bed, a bunk above, as well as an ensuite head. 
Directly across from the crew space, we're gonna to go to our first of five guest staterooms. Each of the five ensuite staterooms are appointed as if they were the master suite. The key difference with this one is the twin berth configuration, which is perfect for the kids. One of the things that young kids are gonna love about this cabin is the fort-like feel when they shut the companionway. And it's also something mom and dad are gonna love by giving a little bit of peace and quiet up top. From here, we're gonna make our way starboard forward to check out the second and third guest stateroom. Make your way down the starboard forward companionway. You can either go fore or aft to check out two nearly identical guest staterooms. Moving from the aft cabin into the forward cabin, I just want to take a quick moment to point out how well appointed and beautiful the heads are on board this boat. That's something across the Sun Reef range that has always blown my mind and always impressed my wife. Before we make our way over to the port guest staterooms, I just want to take a moment to show you guys the starboard forward facing nav station. Not only do we have another BNG display and controls, we also have the vessel management system. And then on the outboard side, we've got the generator control, water maker controls, and bilge pump control. Before we end our tour in the port guest staterooms, I also want to show you guys the forward cockpit door, a feature found on all sunroofs in the New Beginnings range. Turning forward from the landing, you get to the fourth ensuite guest cabin. Moving aft from there, we get into the fifth and final ensuite guest cabin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough on board the Sun Reef 80 as much as I did. In the description down below, we'll have the full spec sheet, pricing, as well as links to our video collection of Sun Reef walkthroughs. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or please shoot me an email.